Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia. Before I go any further, if you would, if you want more videos, more tips, tricks, secrets to the trade, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia and wanted to do a video on different options that you might have if you have limited space for duct work and for the indoor unit in general. And I'm gonna focus on a few options that, you know, make sense for certain applications. I'm not saying they're the end all. Of course, you can always set a package unit outside and then try to run your duct work in if you have room for that. But I'm talking about situations where, you know, it's even tighter than that. You know, we, we just did a job where the air handler that was there was only about 14 inches wide. Uh, it was in the horizontal position and it was 14 inches, you know, wide. And, you know, they don't make air handlers that small anymore. Uh, to me, some of the, you know, efficiencies and sear ratings and minimums that, you know, the, the laws have have set in place these you know no longer viable options buying that 14 inch wide air handler is a thing of the past so what are some of the options you have i believe you know again there's several other options out there uh, of course there's ductless uh, units but i'm going to focus on if you have you you do have some space uh, space for duct work but it's very limited okay and instead of saying uh, like a good, better, best, I think that each one of these options, we're gonna call them uh, the performance, the efficiency, and the economical options, okay? So let's first start with the performance option. And I believe that if you're looking for the best system for a smaller space, and you want it to heat and cool the best that can be heat and cooled, you probably want to be looking at something like the Space Packer Unico systems. They call them small duct high velocity units. And the duct is small, the units are, are smaller and th than a regular air handler, uh, but they push more air. So that's why they, they say high velocity. When you put your hand over the vent, you're going to feel more oomph. You know, it's going to be blowing like a, you know, if you were to put the hose on the discharge side of a uh, shop vac, you know, that blowing out. And again, there's a couple different options with that. The cool thing with a lot of those is they've come a long way. You know, a few years ago, they were a little archaic, a little behind the times, if you will. And I don't feel that way anymore. I think they've come a long way and they work great. In certain applications, there's nothing better. The second option that I would call the efficiency option, and that is if you have a space that, you know, it's limited space and you're looking for, you know, the most efficient option out there and you're looking for something to heat and cool the space as efficiently as possible. And that is, I call them pancake style air handlers and what they're basically designed to do is work similar to a wall hung ductless unit that you've seen, but now they're ducted. So it's still inverter technology. It's still going to ramp up and down just like that wall hung unit. It's still going to dehumidify well, maybe a little better than the average uh, single stage air conditioning system. And so, you know, there's a few companies that make these, what I call pancake style air handlers. I know Mitsubishi has their SEZ air handlers. Daikin has a couple different ones, the FDMQs, and then their VRV Life models. And then I believe Fujitsu even has one. If you're looking for more of an efficient, now one disclaimer with this option, if you're gonna go with the, the efficiency option and get a pancake style air handler, that is, they do have limitations, so they don't have backup heat in a lot of cases. So if you are in a space that, you know, maybe in some states, you're going to need that. But if you're in a space that has another primary heating source or you're further south and it just doesn't matter, 
then I, I think that that's a great option to look at. We've done several here in Virginia. The VRV life models that Daikin makes can even go all the way down to negative four degrees and still blow heat. So, you know, here in Virginia, it doesn't really get that cold very often. And so, you know, especially if you just were aware of that, that maybe, just maybe, if it got to, you know, crazy, crazy negative temperatures, you would maybe have to plug in some space heaters or have another primary heat source. But if not, you know, that's a great option. The last option, this would be the economical option. We've put a few of these in. Uh, Goodman makes what they call their ACNF model air handler. And we see these mostly, like if you ever stay in a hotel room, it seems like 90% of hotel rooms, you walk in the door and then there's the return right there above your head. And then if you walk into the room as you get out into the main space or where the bedroom is, then you'll see the supply sticking out and then they'll come out of the side of, of that ductwork and, and supply the bathroom. So that's where we'll see a lot of these but we've installed them. We just recently installed them in a commercial location. It was a storage unit that they didn't have a lot of space. And, and again, it had one of those older air handlers that you can't even get anymore. And so our options were a little limited and we were able to use one of these AC and F air handlers and still build the plenum around the back end of that unit. It's not a normal cased air handler unit where you would see air going in one end and air coming out the other. This has the squirrel cage motors mounted to the back end of the of the unit and then they blow across the heat strips and the coils and they're they're basically exposed when you buy the unit. So we built a plenum around that and we're we're able to you know take advantage of that. If you have any questions you want to explore your options definitely give us a call if you're not in our coverage area, hit that subscribe button. And if you're in the market for a new heating and air system, got to check out my new website. It's called New HVAC Guide. I'll put a little sign right there. Boop, boop. And uh, the web address is www.newhvacguide.com. And on that website, we go through all the secrets, the ins, the outs, things that the HVAC manufacturers don't even want you to know, we're, we put it on that website. And, you know, I think that before you spend thousands of dollars, you got to check out that website. It could save you headaches. It could save you money and, and guide you through the process. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Bye.